Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing. You can follow my personal social media at Adriana underscore sports. Enjoy. Hey everyone here with Jose Benavides. Jose, obviously uh, we saw David outside. You know, uh, we know that he has a fight coming up in August against Oscar Tegui. You know, talk to me about um, you know, about starting training camp and your thoughts on that fight. Yeah, we're all getting ready. Actually, he's been training uh, for almost two months. Uh, after his fight, he went back to train because, like I tell people, you know, with uh, Canelo, a lot of things can happen. We just got to be ready. And uh, if for some reason uh, something happens, uh, Canelo says, hey, you know, uh, I'm going to give David an opportunity to fight in a, a short period of time. Uh, if we don't take that, you know, he's going to use that against us. So we have to be ready uh, uh, to to whatever happens. If something happens, even with Caleb Plan out, uh, he's uh, they're trying to make that fight. But if that doesn't fight, uh, that fight doesn't happen. Uh, we, we're going to stay ready and focus. We're going to start our training camp uh, uh, in Big Bear uh, on June, the first week of June. So, but we've been ready. Though I've been, we've been training, but we're going to go uh, hard on the training camp on July for our fight on. Uh, the 28th, and uh, we're just focused, disciplined, and getting ready for, for uh, Uscategui. You know, we talk to fans and we hear from them f who we want to see, uh, who they want to see fight. You know, Benavides and Canelo is always a fight that fa fans really, really want. Um, you know, is it frustrating that? I'm sure, obviously, you guys want that fight too, but you guys have to, you know, deal with uh, Uscategui before that. You know what? To be honest with you, we're not frustrated, and we don't really want want that fight. Uh, if it happens, if it happens, you know, because Canelo right now, he's the one that calls the shots right now. He fights wh wh whoever he wants to fight. He's been avoiding David because uh, he knows that David's going to give him problems. And, and to be honest with you, that's a very dangerous fight for fight for us, too. Uh, uh, it, it's a tough fight, uh, but we're willing to take that uh, challenge and show the people what we have. And that's what we do. That's what we work for. And, and uh, in order to make history in life, uh, we have to fight these uh, good fighters. And... Uh, like I said, we're getting ready for Uskategi. Uh, not to take nothing away from him. Uh, he uh, he's a he was a champion, uh, and uh, he's a strong fighter. He's hungry. He has a lot to win. If he beats David, I think definitely he'll fight Canelo. He'll fight all these other fighters. But for why these guys are avoiding David, I don't understand. Uh, we're ready uh, when that happens, and hopefully it happens soon. And and uh, we just hope to. Uh, make that fight with Canelo or Charlo or, or any other fighters that are undefeated and and uh, uh, I think boxing needs this kind of fights and we're ready to take those challenges. And you mentioned that Benavid, that David would be a, a, a difficult challenge for, for Canelo. He could give him you know, trouble. So you, you see, let's say with the last fight, <clears throat> Canelo versus Saunders, you saw obviously something. Well, yeah, I see a lot, you know, since uh, he fought Kovalev. Um, you know, these guys are just trying to survive. They're just trying to box and move around, and they're scared. So at the same time, they make Canelo look like a superstar because he's just uh, following them and, and, and moving. And, and, you know, you can see his head movement and all that because these guys are scared, you know. So I think with David, you know, there's no secret to our, our, our game plan. You know, David's going to come, use that jab, stay uh, inside, work those uppercuts, and try to work that body. All these other guys, they don't really work that body because they, they're afraid they're going to get hit. So... Um, I, we're just going to try to push him back, get him off balance because Canelo, he launches with his feet to throw the big, big hooks. And if you don't let him do that, you know, I mean, we're going to, it's going to be interesting. You know, like I said, you know, we're, we're working on, on doing all that. We're working a lot on working that jab. And that's why, a re that, that's why there's a reason why Canelo doesn't want to fight David. And for us, it's a very dangerous fight, but we're willing to take that fight. And well, obviously Canelo's fighting, um, well, should be fighting Plant in September. How much of a of a chance do you give Plant in that fight? I mean, to be honest with you, the chance that he's gonna be have is getting out of the hospital. You know, I think Canelo uh, is gonna send him to the hospital. He's not ready for that kind of fighter right now. Uh, I, I just don't see it. You know, he even in the Uskategi fight, he got. In one round, Escate decided to throw. He was beat like, like he was there for 12, 12 rounds, and he was there for 12 rounds. But Escate did not throw anything. Uh, when he fought uh, uh, Truex, Truex got him with a lot of right hands. Imagine if Canelo hits him with that right hand, you know. Uh, I, I just don't think, you know. Uh, uh, um, I hope that I'm wrong. You know, I don't, I don't wish him any bad things. Uh, I hope he wins so he can make a big upset. But I just don't see it happening, you know. Um, 
like I said, you know, Canelo right now, he's been looking super strong, breaking arms, breaking faces. Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's unbelievable, you know, the way he's looking right now. He didn't look like that when, uh, at, before he was fighting Kovalev, you know. Uh, he was just a normal fighter. But lately, he's been looking incredible. So.